ICT teacher and I currently work on supply because I took a little bit of time out and I'm looking for another permanent position if anyone knows what. <laughs> <laughs> about delivering with a wiki because that's actually how I deliver all my lessons no matter what I'm teaching. So what's a wiki? For those of you who don't know, a wiki is a simple website that can be edited by anyone if you let them. So if you don't want them editing your wiki, don't open it up. It needs no technical skill. If you can use Word or PowerPoint, you can start putting a wiki together because the software is out there and really easy to use. It's easy to add links, and not just add links, you can embed the content, you can attach documents, you can insert images, and you can link pages, and it does it much better than PowerPoint. Much, much better than PowerPoint. <coughs> Why use one? First up, personalised learning. You can personalise things for your classes. You can personalise it down to individuals if anyone's been missing from a lesson to give them a different directed task to ask them to catch up, which helps to, helps to encompass multiple learning styles. If you've got stuff to slide, you can show the video. Perhaps some kid wants to go and watch it again while some of the others get back from work. They can go over, they can use your computer if they don't have access to one in the classroom. And as I said earlier, it helps to catch up because you can direct individual students towards previous tasks, etc., by using it on the wiki. As a bit of personalised learning I do, my son does some tutoring with me, we literally put his lesson up, we show him whatever images he needs, a bit of instruction, and at the end we go to, we put on the work he's done, which actually his teacher looks at as well, which helps, really helps him on a personal level. His teacher comments on the work he's done at home. The ease of access, you can access it anywhere, because it's online, in or out of the classroom, and your lesson's available to all the stakeholders. So the rest of the staff, those above you, those below you, those on the same level as you, your parents, the kids can go home and show their parents what they've been doing. They can start to become a bit more involved. It's a simple thing. Uh, English cover I did yesterday. They gave me the tasks typed on an email. It took me as long to type that into my wiki and get it up on the whiteboard as it would have done to write it. And at the same time, while I was going, I quickly did, while I was typing in, I quickly whacked in a starter while I was typing up the lesson objectives and the tasks. When they were working on the tasks, I did a quick Google, found them a quiz to finish the lesson with on a book I've never read. Luckily, some of them had. Not many, I've got to say. You can include your lesson plan which gives you less duplication of material. Instead of typing the lesson plan out and the PowerPoint, you've got it all on one page to start with. Put it in the right format that the school likes. So you can show the progression of the context because you can go backwards and forwards from one lesson to the other. You can see where the students are in the unit. You can see what they did last lesson. You can even have the next lesson on there for some students if they need to get ahead. And you can search back to all those lessons that are all sitting on your weekend. Lesson I'm teaching at the moment, typical wiki, lesson objectives, starter activity. I'm teaching IT so all the students have a computer. It's incredibly spooky that half the headphones don't work and they've got the sound coming out the screens. They're all listening to me and my Google Teacher Academy application. Then they get going on the tasks after we've had a quick discussion about the video. Another thing that we do with the wiki, previous lesson, the students created the mind map, so we <coughs> saved it. I can put it into the next lesson to bring back in, and they've got it there. Every student has access to that, either through the whiteboard or through a computer if they've got one. It's updatable. You can update it in the middle of the lesson. I frequently update it in the middle of the lesson, usually because I found I've spelt something wrong. You can include the work they're doing and the ideas they come up with. You suddenly get a really good link. You can just go to hit the edit button, whack the link in. You can improve and change the lesson and you can add all of the discovered information. We constantly update those. <coughs> Typical one of my lessons for a very low ability year eight set at the end of term. They did a quick wall wish a wall to decide what they would include in a poster. And then they all made a poster during the lesson. I had the RM tutor on, so I took a couple of screenshots and put some put them in so they could all have a look at each, other po each other's posters for evaluation without getting up and wandering.
wandering around the road, this class were particularly difficult if they got out of their safes. <laughs> how easy is it? Just a very quick video. How easy it is to put pages on. Just a page on the wiki is as simple as adding clicking the plus sign next to pages and files. This is on a preset wiki. And from the dialog box, giving the page a name. And you can also add tags. I'm just going to click create. And straight away, I'm a blank page with the title I've given it. I can give it a title. And then I have a standard formatting option. You see why it's easy to type it in the right in the whiteboard. Editing, and there are text options in the team box. I can change the color of the line and the like. And then I can just apply my styles. Underneath this, I am interested in tabbing some text, but for simplicity, I'm just going to click on widget. What I want to do is I want to insert a video from YouTube. The brilliant thing about inserting a video rather than linking to it is that by embedding it within my wiki, that means that those all important comments are gone. So I simply copy the embed code from YouTube. And as well as getting rid of the comments, you get rid of all the, you might want to watch this as well. And paste the embed code in the box that I'm given. And then I just save it. And it just appears as a grey box. Similarly, if I want to add a file, I can just upload a file from my hard drive, any file I like, just a simple PDF for now, and I can insert it as an embedded file, which means my users can then click it to download, or I can click on this page in the class. Once I'm happy with my page, I've put my file in, I've put my YouTube video in, I can preview it, or if I just click save, it saves the page for me, and closes it down with the editor, opening up the page as it would be viewed by the user. And there indeed is my embedded video. No instructions here. Ready to show my class without any of those comments. So that's as simple as it is to put a page into a wiki and taking the wiki, setting the wiki up in the first place takes just as long. <coughs> what else could you do with it? You can produce study guides, vocabulary lists, FAQs, lists of useful websites. There's the brilliant ICT Magic Wiki. You could get student class wikis going. They can do lesson evaluation, put their work on, run articles, or even collaborative projects. Actually, the same bottom set of year eight did a thing where they went round, and that's me. Well done. And I nearly got it. <laughs>